Okay, <clears throat> now for corn. Uh, how did I discover them? <laughs> it was one of those one thing led to another. I was in the band shafted, and a high school friend of ours had just joined a new band, and we were told to come check them out. I don't know if anybody wants their name mentioned on here, so I'm not going to mention names. We went to see our friend rehearse with his new band. And the guitar player in this band was using a seven string, I think it was an Ibanez. After they played, I'm like, oh my god, you guys are fucking awesome. I can't get over how heavy you guys are. And he said, that's because I'm using a seven string and the seven string is in the low B. Oh, wow. Then he had posters all over his wall of corn. And he says, dude, you gotta check them out. So I went home <clears throat> and ended up borrowing Korn's first CD and second CD, Life is Peachy, off of my neighbor who lived in an apartment under me. Right then and there, I was hooked. Just like Metallica, I was blown away, and I became obsessed with Korn for years. They use seven-string Ibanez, tuned down a full step so that they're in A. So, yeah, that's why I went with an eight-string Ibanez, so that uh, I had access to the uh, seventh string. I could have got a seven-string, but I'm not, I said, why not go the extra mile and get an eight-string, and then I have that F-sharp or E if I ever decide to use it. I would, you know the old saying, I'd rather have it and not need it than, shit, I need that, I wish I had it. So, if I ever need it, it's there.